I'm Leo Bons from Belgium and part of the Dutch speaking community and I'd like to introduce you some old topics, especially for people who are involved in software, the sustainable development goals. Now we might wonder what is the all about sustainable development goals. That was uh, in a meeting in 2015 in the United Nations. They uh, decided to set forward some goals to be reached within 15 years in 17 different areas. And I want to just to give you a hint what uh, how LibreOffice is already contributing to these uh, goals. And on the other hand, I want to give you some hints how you personally can uh, contribute. And, and the hunger and have access, uh, that everybody has access 
to uh, good, safe and nutritious food. How can we do that? Is by just spending and buying less food. Because you might know that 20 to 50 percent of all food which is produced is uh, thrown away. So if we buy less food and the food we, we buy that we really, really need it, then there will be plenty of food for other people to consume. Now, another problem, uh, another uh, solution is volunteer. And to be part of a volunteer group that is uh, helping local people to, uh, to feed and to find uh, proper nutrition. Good health and well-being. It is a, there is a good news that se there are 17 million people, uh, fewer children died in 19, uh, compared to 1990. But the negative sign is that still 5 million children died during before the age of 5. So also that by 2030 we should try and diminish dramatically. Now, how can we? Uh, contribute to good health? Well, look after yourself. I know that a lot of ideas, and I, I meant myself an idea, but sometimes I get so stuck to what I am doing for the office that I forget to sleep. So, please make sure that you have enough uh, sleep and then you will wake up in the morning with physical energy and you can contribute to the SDGs, to the Social Sustainable Development Goals. Another way is, well, what about vaccination? In some countries it is compulsory to have vaccinations, but in other countries it is not. So make yourself healthy and also your family to make sure that you're vaccinated. Quality education. There is some 670 billion, and that figures are not. Uh, tracking out of the air, out of the air but who are lacking uh, the basic skills for mathematics and literacy. So by 2030 the world should try and minimize the people who are uneducated. Now how can we solve hell there is well in especially in Europe but also in other parts of the world there is a lot of migrants and those people they don't have the, the uh, knowledge of the uh, local language or of the local costumes. So volunteer and help migrants in, uh, in for example, learning the, your native language. And while educating people, make sure that you have fun. When you, make, when you learn and make fun, the better you learn. Now, I mean here, uh, <coughs> A slide which is then more, more related to LibreOffice. What, uh, what we are doing in LibreOffice is uh, we are trying to, or to eliminate or to reduce the digital divide. Uh, the divide. We do it, we offer the uh, software free of charge. So a lot of people who are normally not uh, able to, to get uh, software, they will get it and they will get it in their own uh, language. On the other hand, we also promote uh, public and professional education. We have the certification system, which uh, helps a lot of people to, uh, to get the proper skills. We also encourage corporate participation. As you know, there are now a lot of sponsors who help us in coming here, but not only here, people from the office, they are benefiting from, uh, from this, but also others. Uh, we also uh, support persons to develop, promote and distribute the software for proper uh, and proper documentation. And what we also do is we promote collaboration. Being a, a big community, uh, we collaborate a lot and this by doing that you learn how to collaborate. Gender equality. Um, as you might know, there is about 750 million women and girls were married before the age of 18. 
and at least 200 million women and girls in 30 countries have undergone uh, genital mutilation. So, of course, this is something which might be outside of the scope of uh, the office, but we should think about it that uh, in our proper life that we can also uh, try and reduce discrimination against women and girls. How can we get, uh, help them? You know, just in your daily life. Most, uh, a lot of people that are living together with their uh, girlfriend or with uh, their wife uh, find a good work balance. Because we male, we have tendency in concentrating all our time and effort in our jobs. But uh, our wife who might have also a job herself, but she has another job to do, which is at home. So, you, you support your wife by taking some of the, the household works. <coughs> now, uh, what we have here in the uh, Liberal Office, we have the code of conduct. Uh, we can report whenever somebody is really being well in that, but you see it uh, quite a lot in, uh, in other com communities or just in, when you go out in pub or whatever, or at school, at work. Uh, there is still a lot of uh, bullying against uh, minorities. It's not only female, but please halt it and speak up and uh, tell people to stop it. Speaking about gender equality, uh, then this is a photo from last year, and we were lucky that we were done that time in Albania, because the Albanian uh, Liberal Office Group, they have a, a very big female community. But if you would take them out, you will see that only very, a very limited amount of ladies and women were there. So there is still some room to go there to improve that we uh, attract uh, females to our community. And then, uh, as I was uh, listening also to the uh, speech of uh, Marina uh, just before noon time, so she is also uh, very much aware of it and she is uh, trying to find solutions to attract more uh, female to have uh, in our community, in our family. Clean water and sanitation. Now, when I saw these figures, it was unbelievable to me. One in four uh, persons on Earth tracks, uh, no, not people, one in four healthcare facilities, be it hospitals or whatever, they like the basic facility of, of water, of clean water. Can you imagine a hospital which has no access to, to water? Uh, three in ten uh, persons like the accessibility to, to water for their home, home use. And six in ten, in ten persons, 60%, is unimaginable. They don't have access to proper sanitation. So by 2030 we should try and reduce this quite a lot. Now, also there, by just making uh, small adjustments in our daily life, we can reduce the use of water. By just by cleaning your hands or taking a shower, by when you have uh, taken a shower, you are taking a shower, you first wet yourself and then you start soaking yourself, but the, the water is pouring down. It's no use, because if you're soaping yourself, yeah, then the, the soap is disappearing because you're pouring water. So just turn down the, the tap, uh, soak yourself, and then you, you're saving water. And then, uh, rinse. Well, I was very surprised when I was at work, we had a dishwasher, to clean the dishes for the, uh, the things we were using during meal. But, and the people uh, they first started washing, rinsing their, their plates, their, uh, their tools, before putting it in a dishwasher. Then the dishwasher was doing the job. When the uh, washing was finished, they took it out, and they started rinsing uh, their glasses again. I said, don't you believe that the dishwasher is doing a proper job? So I don't know if there's only other people who do that rinsing before, before and after uh, using the dishwasher, but please don't do so, you're spoiling a lot of water.
Then another figure is that 13% of the global population, uh, population still lacks access to modern electricity. It's really a shame. But that, if you compare it to that 3 billion people, nearly half of the population, is still relying on coal, on wood, on charcoal, animal waste for their heating and cooking. That is great. That, as you know, this way of cooking and of heating, heating things is polluting the, the world enormously. So, but also there, by doing small things, we can uh, we can contribute. And that is a very nice English word for it: air dry. So just use the air and the sun to dry your clothes. Or if you have long, long or short hair, don't bother. Just go out and the sun, and your work, your hair will dry sooner than with the air, air dryer. Then another thing is that whenever you want some coffee or some tea, most of the people when they put some water in the kettle, most of them of the people they will take one liter of water or whatever just for one cup. For what? Yeah. Just heat up a quarter of a, of a liter, just what is enough to, to fill your cup, heat water and, and that's it. So you don't use you don't spoil water, water, neither is spoil electricity. This is working an economic growth. Did you know that 61% of workers are engaged in informal employment? Means that they don't have any contact, so they can be fired without any problem because there is no contact, there is no so 61, 6, 6 out of 10 people don't have any uh, contract. Unbelievable. Comes to that that a lot of people are still forced to work. There is still slavery in this world, or uh, forced labor. Not to speak about children who are forced to be a soldier. The ch uh, child uh, soldiers is, a, is in some countries really a major problem. So what can we do? Just empower the people. People who are working in poor uh, circumstances, assist them and help them to come up for their rights. Similar to that is voice out. Whenever you see somebody, something which is going against standard or normal rules, you can really speak out and try to have it uh, solved. What is uh, LibreOffice doing there? Yeah, this is the certification program, as I already mentioned. There is also, uh, LibreOffice is advocating to have a full participation in the digital society. We also promote national, European, worldwide cooperation between people. And on the other hand, we also uh, promote and implement research of development projects. Industry and innovation. That 16% of the global population does not have access to mobile broadband networks, which means that they are cut off from the rest of the world. So also there we can uh, we can help. Uh, innovation and infrastructure. If coming back to this food, if we uh, if we don't throw the, the food away, but we give it away, that uh, will, will help one uh, the will help the people to get proper food, and uh, the industries will just produce whatever is needed. On the other hand, we should also promote healthy cities. Five five minutes. Five minutes. Yeah. Okay. Reduce inequalities between people in the country itself, but also within uh, within a country itself. How you can do that? Well, just have a coffee with somebody you don't know, somebody of a different race or a different creed, 
go and have a coffee with him and you will have an interesting talk which will reduce the barriers. Also, go and travel, but don't go and travel 3,000 kilometers, just travel within your city and meet some of the nice and interesting people. Make cities and human settlements inclusive, safe and resilient and sustainable. But how you can do that? If you have local heritage, just promote your, your local heritage to other people and to visitors. Also, uh, go and brainstorm about safe places for children to play, for elderly people to meet. Responsible consumption and uh, production. This kind of potato, okay, it's uh, nice because it's hard, but sometimes if you have these funny uh, forms, people just don't want to, to buy them. But why not? They're, they're, they're nutritious as all the others. And by road, go and don't buy food which has to travel 10,000 kilometers by ship or by plane, just buy local food. Climate action, yeah, it has been so much in the news, but what we can do there ourselves, unpack. If you really have a, a tour around your house, you will see how many uh, instruments or how many machines are on standby mode and they, are, they still use electricity. So to go and check and unplug. Then buy less, the less you consume. It's good for, the, for, good for your, uh, your purse, but on the other hand, yeah, you can see how much we buy and we use it once and we throw it away or we put it in the cupboard and we never see it again. So the best savings you can make is by buying nothing. There is about uh, 3 billion people, which is nearly half of the population, they live on marine and coastal biodiversity. So you can understand how important seas and oceans are for the uh, complete planet. Now also there, we can, uh, we can assist. You might know, uh, this is a new form which was invented in Sweden, it's plogging. So it's jogging and in the meantime, uh, uh, removing waste from the streets, and that because and that you will see in the next slide uh, is a campaign in, in Belgium. It, this is uh, how we call it sewage system, and they say the sea, the sea is starting at the sewage in the streets. So by removing everything from the streets, you will not pollute the, uh, the seas because where the sewer system is coming into rivers and that way in the seas and the oceans. Then I don't have to tell you that uh, you have to protect the environment. How can we do that? As I was explaining already, don't, don't go and travel to the moon or buy some uh, stuff which is coming from the moon just from your next door village, buy it there, and then uh, we will help and save the, uh, the wildlife. And wildlife must not be elephants somewhere in Africa, wildlife is also what is running around in your garden. is really a very big problem. More than one million children around the uh, world are affected by violence against them. So also there we should try and uh, eradicate it. Now, how we can uh, contribute to this goal is that uh, Belgium is one of the two countries in the world where it is compelled to go voting. Uh, now, if you have the 
screen. We love the guys who have the possibility to, to vote. So please go and vote and then uh, choose proper uh, uh, representatives for you. If you want to change the world, start with yourself. And then the last goal, partnerships for the goals. So I think that uh, LibreOffice is a good example of partnerships. So as you have seen on uh, different other uh, speeches that we are really covering the, the world. And how we can uh, uh, also uh, reach the goal is spreading out, uh, voice it, uh, tell the people, spread the word uh, about uh, sustainable development goals. Then I don't know if you have still time for it, we're, we're running over. We're, yeah, okay. Well, well um, you can ask a question while Gabor, do you want to set up? And then, so.